everybody, Pick TV Network, special in, uh, interview today with my baby sister, Dolly Harrington, who I love so much. Hey everybody, Pick TV Network special interview today with my baby sister, Darlene Harrington. This is my blood, y'all, my baby sister. Now we're gonna talk about the boys. Junior, my oldest brother, the smartest dude on earth, doll. And he has a lot of mama in him like me too. Mm -hmm. You know, when you say John Junior, the most, he's a brilliant, I mean, he can do taxes, he knows numbers, my brother Junior is just a loving person. He's just one of he's one of the brothers that he would give you a shirt off his back. Anything, I, any every time I call my brother Junior, I'm 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 just feeling so so good because I know he's gonna make me feel good when this phone call is over by showing me a lot of love. How you feel when you talk to Junior? I feel absolutely amazing. About Named my after brother. Daddy. Yeah, but you know what? He's actually named after Mama and Daddy. Really? Because Mama's name is John Esther. That's right. Yep. Because her father wanted a girl, a, so a boy, so bad. But when they had her mm -hmm. being the first child, he named her John Esther. Wow. So I guess that's why he's so special because he's named after my mother and my father. Jeez. So that's amazing within itself right there. And this just you have Tanish, Nicole, mm -hmm. Adrian, and Atlanta, four amazing Very young awesome. women. Amazing. Doctors. Doctors, mm -hmm. yes. One finished the Air Force, doing very well. Mm -hmm. Atlanta is doing very well. Yeah. Adrian is doing good. I saw yeah. both of them on yesterday. Wow. Yeah, at Angel's Baby Shower. Mm-hmm. So they're doing very, very good. I missed him though. They said he came as well. Virginia. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But he's he's an amazing man of God. This amazing man of God. I know. Um, in his latter years, as he gets as you get older, you mm -hmm. experience some health challenges, and he did not want to get on dialysis. Mm -hmm. And he would come to the church and you know pray. Mm -hmm. And I said, listen, if you want to live, and that's what the doctors say that you need to do, you should do it. Right. Right. So right. he finally decided that he wanted to do it, and he's doing so oh, well. Man. You wouldn't even know. No, if he, he would wouldn't never tell know. You he mm -mm. was doing dialysis, mm -mm. and that's a lot of people watching us right now. You may be thinking about that decision and whether it makes sense or not. But my sister spoke life into my brother's life. My oldest brother, he took her advice. He's here today, and um, he does what he has to do. And he's still here doing good. And we believe in God that he will get the transplant and get everything he needs to be 100% again. Amen. John Jr. Now we got to move on to my brother, Bobby, who's gone to heaven. Yeah. Looking up there. The coolest dude on earth. Bobby, mm -hmm. he, he's the protector. Mm -hmm. You don't mess with nobody in our family. If Bobby knows, it's going to be a fight. You know, mm -hmm. Bobby is our protector, mm -hmm. you know. Um, mm -hmm. He's in heaven right now, gone to be with the Lord. But Bobby was also energetic. Basketball. That's yes. where I get my skills from. Yes, yes. He was a baller, y'all. Yes. My brother can shoot. He can dunk. He can he can play for any position. I can remember when I was a kid, he took me to Raymond Elementary School, and this court was so high. I said, I know he can't touch that rim. Bobby jammed that thing, man. <laughs> That's the highest <laughs> rim on Raymond. He jammed it. And he also went to uh, California to play ball, yes, too. Yes, he did. 
Yes, he did. Bobby, man. Mm -hmm. I love that dude. Play the guitar. Oh, my goodness. He would yes. join the ministry in our church and he would sing Precious Lord until he cried. Mm -hmm. Talk about Bobby. <laughs> Bobby is an amazing man of God. Um, as he stated, he's gone home with to be with the Lord, but very talented. And oh. I, I take a look at um, a lying as she's in um, the military and sewing and a tailor made all her clothes, taught mm -hmm. me how to sew as well. Look at him and his ministry of playing a guitar, it's very instrumental and teaching. And he used to pick up Jada for me all the time. Too. Really? I never yeah, knew that. Yeah, <laughs> he picked up Jada for me all the time. Yeah. You know, it takes a village yeah. to raise children. And mm -hmm. I, I, I bless his sainted soul for that yeah. because um, one time she was in school and she was going through a really bad way. And I did not know she was actually missing him. Wow. They didn't know what was wrong, but she was actually missing wow. him because during that time, that's when he transitioned. Right. And um, he no longer was able to pick her up from school, but we never knew. So you never know what a child goes through and that's how attached they get to a relative. Yeah. But um, she's she's doing wonderful. So I, I just thank God for that. And, and now... I have a grand grandkids that play the piano. <laughs> one play the drums. Get all of them for Bobby. <laughs> get all of them for Bobby. <laughs> My keyboard. One play the keyboard. Sing. One play Bobby the drums. Bobby used to sing too. He won the he won oh, the yes. Oh yes. And Roosevelt. Yes, he did. We were kids, dog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He could sing. Mm -hmm. He could play the good time. Mm -hmm. He had a band on Spring Road. Mm -hmm. Bobby was awesome, man. Gifted, talented, loved. He lived life. Yeah, he did. And he wasn't scared of nothing. Oh no. Oh no. When I say nothing. No, no, don't mess with him. Don't mess with him. Don't mess with him. <laughs> you got a fight in your hand. Don't and you, mess you, with you him. Don't even, you only look at my sister, Dolly, mm -hmm. and then you're you going to get messed up. Mm -hmm. It was Bobby around. Mm -hmm. That's how he was. He's a protector. Yeah. Now we got to talk about Kenny. Mm -hmm. Kenny, like daddy, he's a worker. Yes. He's, he's an entrepreneur. My brother Kenny, he also is a protector. He loves me so much. He calls me every day, dog. He would put his hand to the plow. Uh, you can't talk about me bad in front of my brother Kenny today. He's a baller, football player, mm -hmm. number 52. Mm -hmm. Used to be Bill. He was a, um, all, all met. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I was over to his house the other day, and his coach what? came to his house. <laughs> Amazing. He said wow. he used to coach him at boys in the boys' club. I was like, oh, my God, well, how crazy. old are you? That's crazy. <laughs> His Kenny is what, almost 65? Yeah, don't tell his age on TV. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's, he's ageless. I put it that way. He's just standing still. But it's just a blessing to be alive these days. So I'm good. I'm good. But he's the dog. You're talking about football. Kenny, linebacker. He knows the game. He plays the game. But a worker for the gas company for most of his life. Mm -hmm. He. He's like daddy. There's not a lazy bone in Kenny's body. Yeah, that's He's don't ask anybody for nothing. He going to get the job done. He think he can cook better than me, though, dog. <laughs> I, don't I don't know about that. He watching. I don't, I don't know about that. He think he can cook better than David. <laughs> All right, man. This uh, is his show, so yeah, I, I yeah, have to yeah. be on his side. I have to, but we'll talk tomorrow. Oh, he's going to call me up. We'll talk tomorrow. He's going to call me up. Yes. But anytime his family need him, yes. he's right there. Mm-hmm. Kenny is right there. He is. He's, He's an amazing man, and he has a drive yeah. to live. Because yeah. you remember, he had gotten sick at one time. Yep, sure did. Yeah, he was sick at one time, and mm. um, he's a he was just, you know, he's a man of God because Mama raised us all. He loved church. He loved yes. God. He's in church every Sunday. Every Sunday. He don't miss. He do not. He don't miss. He do not. An amazing thing that I love about Kenny, he does parking lot duty at his church now. Yep. And um, I went to his church last Sunday. Wow. And I mm -hmm. was there like two months ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. I went there last Sunday New at, at New Home. Mm -hmm. And um, I couldn't find a parking space because I was actually talking to <laughs> Esther. And she kept me on the phone. I said, listen, I got to go because I'm going to church. Yeah. So I went there to visit him, to support him. And he was not aware that I had purchased a new car. Right, right, right. So I said, oh, I need to come to church on time. Mm. He's like, no, no, come on. Come on, mm. let me find a parking space for you. You're going to be okay backing up. Come on, I'm going to cre create this parking space for mm -hmm. you. Backed up into this parking space that he created for me. Got out the car. He said, <laughs> is that you? <laughs> I said, I'm so proud of you. Because yeah. if you treat members like this and you didn't even know that was me. Yeah, you got it. 
you got it. Mm -hmm. You got it. I said, I can really go home now because. <laughs>